So I did pretty well. We're able to get a decent amount of trading credit. I ended up getting $93 in trading credit for everything. back again for the second time this week this time sadly it's to return the wii u did, didn't work but i'll do a little game hunting while i'm here see if there's anything worth picking up let's go all right so i returned the wii u i was gonna try to get my vita that i have on reserve but i didn't get as much back as i thought and i want to have a decent amount of money left over from this as i could use it so i didn't get the vita it's still on hold i have to pay it off by next week or next month so I'll probably get it then. I did do some game hunting. I picked out a little handful of games and I mostly got them to flip and they're like five, six dollar games at GameStop. They wanted about that for each one. So I'm like, you know, I'm just gonna put these back and instead I'll pick up one game for three bucks on the Xbox 360, Prototype 2. Did not have it. Always wanted to play these. I thought they were pretty good. So I figured I'll try them out. Yeah, looks fun. Three bucks, not bad. So I'm gonna go get some food and then head to Value Pond and see if they've got anything good. Didn't do amazing at Cash America, so let's head to Value Pond and see what they've got. Let's go. So they have a PS5. What price? I'll show that when I get outside. Pretty crazy. All right, so that was interesting. I did come away with some games because I did get a few new ones and they were actually pretty reasonably priced. So I'll take what I can get. First, as you saw, they had a PS5, and as I've seen from previous pawn shops that have had PS5s, they always grossly overprice it. They wanted a thousand dollars. Mamma mia! That's a hard note for me, dog. I'm not paying double for a PS5. I will gladly wait until they're more readily available. They had one, so that's something. I did pick up two games. I think both are pretty solid pickups. Uh, I got a, a bundle deal for 10 bucks, so I'm gonna call both of these five each, which is pretty darn good considering what I got. First, we have Need for Speed Heat on the Xbox One. Pick that one up because it's worth like seven seventy in trade in at GameStop for five. I mean, a couple bucks extra, I'll take it. But the big one, which I'm kind of surprised they gave me as cheap as they did, because I, I asked for ten, and I thought I'd get ten for just this game. They gave me ten for both, which is pretty nice. Call of Duty Black Ops Three on the PS4. I just traded this in recently. And it's worth like 18 bucks in trade in at GameStop. So I'm gonna get like 25 bucks in trade in, all for 10 bucks. So pretty happy. And that's not including bonuses either. So pretty solid. I'll be gonna do a little more game hunting later since I have some game hunting money now. Um, but we'll see how that goes. Well, we did well at one Cash America and one Value Pond already today. Let's see the other Value Pond, see what we can find. Let's go. All right, so I didn't do as well in there. I looked around. They had a few decent games, uh, some that had some decent value, but the prices they were quoting were essentially what they were going for in trade-in, which isn't worth picking up. My phone didn't get great reception in there, so I kind of did a no-look on two games, and it technically didn't work out because I basically broke even. But if I can get some bonuses on them, I'll make a little bit of extra fun. So, I mean, that is kind of a win. So these aren't great pickups, but I mean, they're not horrible, at least. I didn't lose any money on them, or I won't lose any money on them. First, we have Cyberpunk on the PS4. They wanted 10. It goes for 11 in trade-in, but if I can get some bonuses on it, it'll be worth like 13, 14. So not terrible. Hopefully there's some good bonuses I can get on to at least make a few bucks. And then this one, I figured because of the price they were asking, I would have done okay. Turns out I didn't unless I get bonuses and then I'll at least break even on it. Uh, I got the Switch version of the Lego Harry Potter collection. It's worth $8.80 in trade-in. So if I can get some bonuses on it and get at least 10 bucks back for it, then I'll do okay because that's what I paid. So all in all, I'm probably going to gain like maybe three, four dollars, which is not ideal. But thankfully, the other games I picked up from the other value pond more than make up for it because I'm definitely going to make a profit on those. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to go into GameStop, trade in everything and see what I come up with, whether it's picking up a new game to bring home or just putting stuff towards pre-orders. So let's see what happens. 
All right, so I just got out of GameStop. I didn't film an intro, but I went into GameStop. And of course, I wanted to flip my games. And sure enough, GameStop credit bonuses went through again. I ended up paying a grand total of $30 for the four games that I picked up at Pawn Shops and gained a little bit of money at least on each one. Lego Harry Potter, I paid 10, I got 10.40, so the bonus came through and I didn't lose money on it, so that's good. Cyberpunk was the big winner, honestly. That one I paid 10 for and it got 15.60 in credit, so a gain of five bucks, so about half credit. For Speed Heat, I paid five for and got 9.10 in credit, so that's pretty good. And then Black Ops went down in value. It was at 18 the last time I traded in. It's gone down to 11, but with the bonus, I got 13 out of it. So still gained $3. So grand total, I gained like 12 bucks, 12, $13 in credit from the games I traded in. So not terrible, not amazing, but not terrible. So what I decided to do, first of all, I full paid Mario Party. I was good anyway on that because I had reward that was ready to go. So I was gonna be set on Mario Party regardless, but I figured let's just pay it off with credit and that way I can use the reward today. So that left me with $40 in credit after paying off Mario Party. And I still had a $10 reward and a $5 reward. So $15 in rewards I need to use. So I looked around and there were a few newer release games I've been wanting to pick up, but GameStop never seems to have them. But I found this, and this is a game I've been, you know, I'm, I have to pick it up. A, because I enjoy football games, and B, because it's got Tom Brady, my quarterback, on the cover, so I, I feel obligated. And it's on sale, so triple win, I guess. Madden 22 on the Series X. So it was on sale for 45 for the next-gen version, which... Let me remind you, this normally goes for $70, so it's on sale for $45 pre-owned. I figured that's worth picking up, decent price for that. And then I was also able to put $10 down on different pre-orders for next month, so I already have a good start. And as a, as a further bonus, I got my promo card for free shiny Zacian on Pokemon Shield. So, pretty productive run, ended up after everything, coming away with two games, a bunch of pre-order stuff taken care of, and a promo code for Shiny Zacian. Can't complain there. So now we're going to go to my first new game pickup of the week, where I pick up a game I've been waiting for for a decent amount of time. All right, I'm at GameStop to pick up my first pre-order of two this week. Let's do it. All right, so I'm back from my first of many trips to GameStop this week, and of course I picked up the first of my pre-orders. But I have the Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Deluxe Edition on the Xbox Series X. Now I already opened this up. If you wanna see everything that's inside it, take a look at the unboxing video that's on the channel. It's pretty awesome and I've played the game a fair amount and this is a really good game. So if you're looking for a strong action adventure game that's single player only, and are a big fan of Guardians of the Galaxy, you're gonna really like this. So far, this is one of my favorite games I've played of the year so far, and I'm not that far into it. So, very, very good game. Highly recommend checking it out. But we got some more stuff we're gonna be picking up at GameStop and throughout the week. So, let's go see what we're doing. It's been almost a week, so let's head into this value pond and see if there's any new games to pick up, potentially a flip or add to the collection. Let's go. All right, so I'm back from Value Pond once again, and I picked up a few games. I didn't do great. I think I can do okay with the main one that I picked up. I didn't gamble that much though. I picked up one game that I thought was gonna be worth a little bit more in trading than it was. I can still make a profit on it in terms of trading credit, but it's not like a huge bump. It's a decent bump though. And then I, on a whim, picked up five games from their dollar bin, which they had like a, a bin of loose disc games for a dollar each. And I thought I might be able to flip some of them to get a little trading credit. Turns out none of them are worth at that much, but you know, you live and you learn. So first game I picked up, and this was the one I spent the most money on, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe on the Switch. They only wanted 25, which is pretty good for a first party Switch game. Usually even third party ones, pawn shops price at like 30 bucks plus so 25 for mario kart i figured was a decent price and i mean it's got everything in it chips here it's everything's in good condition 
course, I already have this game, so I didn't need it for my own personal collection. With a trade-in bonus, I think I could get 32 in trade-in for it. So a $7 bump, which is not horrid, but it's not ideal. Obviously, we're spending much less money for that big of a bump, but you know, not the worst deal in the world, so I should be able to get a little extra credit for it. And then here are the five disc only games. I picked up most of these because I thought I might be able to flip them. Uh, I was incorrect, but you know, we'll see what we can do with them. First off, we have Chaotix Shadow Warriors on the PS3. I think this is, it's based on an anime or a kid's show. I don't know much about it. It was a dollar, it's been sitting there for a while. I'm like, you know, I might as well pick it up for a dollar. I figure I'll try it at least. So that one I'm actually intended to add to the collection. The rest of these I did not, and one of them actually worth more than I thought it was. So that's good. We'll go into full values and stuff when we get to that. Uh, first we have Infinite Warfare on the PS4. I thought, you know, Call of Duty games, even the cheaper Call of Duty games like Ghosts have some value. So this one's gotta be worth something, right? Not so much, but I'm gonna try to trade in GameStop. I don't think they're gonna take it, but might as well see. I mean, worst comes to worst, I'm not a dollar. I'll find somewhere to trade this in or flip it or something. Same goes for Call of Duty Ghosts on the PS3. Again, the P Xbox 360 version has some trade-in value. Most of the other versions do, but apparently the PS3 version does not, which is disappointing. I thought it might. But again, oh well, no big deal. I'll find a way to do something with this. Next up, we have Battlefield Bad Company 2 on the Xbox 360. I already have this game complete. I think I have the Ultimate Edition, actually. Yeah, I do. So I didn't need this. I mostly got it because I figured, well, it's a 360 game. It's pretty popular. It might be able to trade in. Incorrect, but whatever. It's a dollar. And then this one, I, I thought had some value, and I was correct. It won't trade into GameStop, but I did list it on eBay, and hopefully I can get some decent money for it. We have WWE 2K14 on the PS3. This one is worth like 15 bucks. So I'm hoping I can trade this or sell it on eBay. Because if I can flip this for 15, that pays for half the, the bundle. That pays for all the disc only games and more. And I can still trade in uh, Mario Kart for a profit. So this one was a good score and I, I'm glad I picked it up. Hopefully it will sell soon. No idea if it's going to or not, but we'll find out. So yeah, those are my pickups for Value Pond. I think I got a few more pawn shops in me before my next trip to GameStop. So uh, let's go take a look and see what I get. It's been a little bit, so I figure, you know what, let's stop off at Simple Pawn, see if I can pick up some more games that I can trade in, and maybe some more stuff for the collection. We'll see. Let's go in. Well, like usual, they didn't have much, but they did have some new stuff, and I'm glad I went in there because they worked me a pretty solid deal. The main disappointment was they did have a copy of Red Dead Redemption 2, but just like the one that I found at Cash America recently, it only had one of the two discs on PS4. So it's useless. I can't, I can't do anything with it. Although I am kind of curious if the disc, I'm pretty sure it's the same one, which is the data disc. But if it was the play disc, I'd be tempted to get both of those if I could get them for cheap and then try to complete it and trade it in. But who knows? I'll have to check the Cash America, see if they still have it, what disc it is. But I was able to get five items for $7. It's pretty darn good, especially when you consider what they had. Normally this place has flat pricing where they'll sell you like older gen games for three bucks and newer gen games for five. But I brought everything up to the counter like here, four of these items, two bucks a piece for a game. And then I got another thing, which I'm going to try to use to my advantage as well. So first item up, we have Grand Theft Auto 4, the complete edition that includes Grand Theft Auto 4 and the episodes from Liberty City. Pretty solid to get the complete GTA 4. I currently have GTA 4 on 360, but it's not the complete version. So I'll probably keep this. I can trade it in the GameStop for like 330. So with the bonus that I could get, it'll be like 360. So maybe, but we'll see. It's probably worth it just to keep it though. So I'm probably gonna keep that. This one I got mostly because again, it's a Wii game that I don't have. And I'm also a sucker for theme park games. So figured why not? We have Wonder World Amusement Park on the Wii. I'm pretty sure this is another one of those bad like Wii Sports-ish mini game collections. But you know, might as well add to the Wii collection. And for two bucks, absolutely. This one I have technically and I might trade in, but I also don't have a physical copy of it. I have it digitally. I think it's games with gold, so I might keep this one. 
Rayman Legends on the PS4. Another solid pickup for two bucks. I mean, I can either keep it and have a physical copy on PS4 or trade it in for a nice profit. So we'll see. And then this one I originally was going to put back, but I ended up picking it up because it had some decent value. Because I make a profit, The Last of Us Remastered on PS4. It's worth a little bit of profit, not a huge amount, but a little bit. And then here's the fun thing. So I also saw this in the, in the counter and it didn't have a price on it. And my thought is it's a third party, but if it works, I have two first parties and I can trade my first party in to GameStop and use this as my backup controller. And when I asked them, okay, how much do you want for it? They just gave it to me for free. A third party PS3 controller. So I got to test this first to make sure it works, but it's free. So I've literally lost nothing for getting this. And if it does work and it works well enough, then I will probably trade in one of my two DualShock 3s to GameStop and uh, make a little extra money. So I'd say a pretty solid stop at the pawn shop. All right, it's been a few weeks. Let's head into La Familia, see if we can find any deals in here. I'm not expecting much, but I've scored before. You never know. All right, so I think I did pretty well in there. I uh, picked up a grand total of five games. I originally picked up six, but I put one back just to try to save a little bit of money. But I think I did okay, I picked up some good games, some of which I'm gonna to add to the collection, one of which I'm pretty sure is worth some good money, and I'm probably gonna flip at least one or two of them. So for starters, on PS4, we have Darksiders 2 Definitive Edition. Now I have the Definitive Edition of Darksiders 1 on Xbox One, so now I have Darksiders 2 on PS4. Not sure if we're gonna keep it or flip it, but we'll see. I might keep it just so I have two of the definitive versions of the Darksiders games, although I do technically have two on 360, but you know, I'd rather have the, the updated version. Next, we got Tekken 7 on the PS4. Don't have any of the Tekken games. This is the first one that I've got. I've heard it's a good, good game, good fighting game. Figure that was worth a pickup. I paid a grand total of 30 bucks for all these, by the way. I'll have the breakdowns of what they're worth on the screen, but I think I did okay. You knew I had to at least look at this one and they had a price fairly high. I think I did okay on it for flipping. Call of Duty Black Ops 2 on PS3. Again, it's not the Xbox One or 360 version, which is the one that's worth more, but this one's worth like $8 in trade-in. So if I add the bonus, it'll be worth at least 10. So I'll get a little bit of bonus for that one. I'll take it. And these last two, honestly, are the two I'm the most excited to add to the collection, although one of them I might flip depending on the value. We have... Sonic Generations on the PS3. Another Sonic game that I do not own, so I figured, you know, might as well add it. The one that I put back was Sonic Forces on PS4, just because out of all these, I figured that's the one that's probably the least desirable, so I put that one back. But Sonic Generations on PS3, pretty exciting. And then this one, I'm pretty sure this game is worth some money. I have to look it up, but just by doing a no look, I know this game is pretty uncommon to find nowadays. Street Fighter Cross Tekken on the PS3. This one has exclusive content in it as well. Yeah, it's Street Fighter Cross Tekken, the first part of a planned two-part crossover series. Only the first part happened, the second one never came out. Pretty sure this has some value. I will obviously show you how much it's worth on screen. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it or if I'm gonna try to trade it or sell it, but we'll find out. So, essentially 30 bucks for five games. So I paid a grand total of 37 today and got a pretty nice stack of stuff so more than i expected honestly it's time for my third stop at gamestop this week and it won't be the last i'm gonna pick up a new game do some trade-ins and see where else I end up getting let's go so i did pretty well we're able to get a decent amount of trading credit i ended up getting 93 dollars in trading credit for everything and let me remind you i only paid 50 for all of this so I'm pretty happy with that. So what did I end up doing with my trading credit? Well, I picked up one game and I renewed my GameStop membership. And the reason why I did that is because it was down to $10. And if you renew it, you also get an additional $10 coupon. I believe tomorrow is when it's coming. So that's pretty nice. So yeah, pretty good. I got Riders Republic. Pretty excited to play it, it looks fun. That's the only thing I picked up. So I still got 20 bucks in credit and I'll get a $10 coupon tomorrow. Pretty exciting.